believers, it's your old pal Spider-Man. Hello, Spice Lords. Hello, Cadre. Hello, everybody that loves hot sauce and other things. I'm KJ. This is Amber. And we are going to do another box opening uh, of hot sauces. But not just one. We've got two. Because we have been slackers and we have been waiting and just not gotten around to it. So we've got the October box right now and the November box. So let's get to these, see what is in them and try them out. I have been watching the show, but I haven't really been paying attention to anything else. So I don't know what is in these. We've got the October box right here. And let us see what we have, we of course have a little card here, and oh, the dun, dun, Hot dun, Ones dun, dun, dun. sticker in the style of Friends. Of course we always have the Heatness sticker. Yoink. Okay, so this box is a season box. We have three sauces oh, from the current season, which is, what, season 10, I think? Uh, we've got the Chicago Red Hot Jalapeno. Nom, nom. We've got Adobo Loco, which is from Hawaii. Faya Faya. Then and we have the Triple X. Triple X version of the last dab. So, uh, the Small Axe Peppers Chicago Jalapeno is the first up. It says... Made with peppers grown in community gardens from Sean's hometown, Chicago Jalapeno captures the flavor. Kanye West also is from Chicago. Oh, yeah. Guess who's like Kanye West? Not right now, though. He's too. He's insane. Uh, the garden fresh ingredients start with jalapenos and continue with celery seed, which I love. Dill. Sounds good. Tomatoes and onions. Dill? Calling. Dill. You like pickles? Yeah, I like pickles, not pickles. Uh, I like pickles and hot sauce, I take that back. Calling to mind the iconic toppings of Chai Town's signature Frank. Tried on anything that goes on a bun, the sauce is a tailgating must have. So let's go through the ingredients. Apple cider vinegar, jalapenos, onions, tomatoes, brown sugar, habanero peppers, yellow mustard, dill, celery, salt, celery, and salt. salt, and salt. Doesn't sound too bad. So this is, again, the Chicago. It's very liquidy. It kind of almost smells a bit mustardy. I like cumin. It's not cumin. And I do smell a little bit of the dill. I smell the jalapeno, the jalapeno definitely. I don't smell any habanero, but I smell jalapeno. Hmm. Taste the dill. I don't know, I don't really taste the dill. I do definitely taste the jalapeno. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> There's good spice to it. Mm-hmm, definitely. That, that probably would be good on a hot dog, actually. I don't really like that. It'd be perfect on a hot dog. Um, True that. No, that's actually a really like it. It came off like pretty hot, like right at the beginning. But, but it's not but holding it. it, it, it yeah. yeah, it toned down pretty well. Um, no, that was a pretty good one. I actually like that. Now, adobo loco, which we've had before. Adobo loco from Hawaii. Uh, the hamajang which was from a few seasons ago, uh, was a really smoky, really good sauce. And then actually when I went to Hawaii, I brought back a couple other sauces from Adobo Loco that are pretty good. But the Faya Faya, I think, is probably going to be the hottest one of any of the Adobo Locos. According to the card, let's see. Um, Tim Parsons from Adobo Loco continues to bring the essence of traditional Hawaiian chili pepper water to the national palate with his tangy vinegar forward sauces. The newest creation puts the ow in Maui 
with a blend of four hot peppers, including ghost, Trinidad scorpion, habanero, and jalapeno. Use Faya Faya to spice up everyday eats like sandwiches, rice bowls, barbecue, and more. Now, it did say it was a very vinegar forward, which, um, as she noted, uh, adobo loco sauces are very watery, um, very thin. Um, so let us see. Uh, Ingredient ingredients. Was. Apple cider vinegar, chili peppers, again, jalapeno, dried Trinidad scorpions, habanero, and ghost, sea salt, and, and garlic. garlic. Vinegar, peppers, salt, and garlic. That is it. Ooh, it's smoky smelling. Mm. Very smoky. Yeah. That's got to be from the dried Trinidad scorpions. There's nothing else in here that would give it like a smoky. Well, yeah, it says jalapeno, not chipotle. Yeah. Yeah, you would think that this would be like a chipotle pepper that's... from the. Yeah. From the smoke. That smells really, really good. I hope it tastes that good because that smells amazing. That's a little bit thicker than the other adobo loco sauces. The other ones are really watery. This one actually does have some thickness to it. Yeah, so thick. Mmm. It's definitely got that good smoky Ooh. flavor. I like this one a lot better <clears throat> than I thought I was going to. It is pretty hot from the get-go, and it's actually building. So that one's got, ooh, that one's got some good heat. <clears throat> mm, that one's good though. Mm, I like that one. It says very hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Um, <clears throat> yeah. What's the warning? <laughs> I don't know. To the inexperienced, this sauce is very hot. Users caution, keep out of reach of children. Mm. But yeah, so, Faya Faya. Definitely a very good smoky, wow. like if you like a smoky taste of peppers, awesome, awesome, awesome. My tongue is still on fire from that one. Like that one, ha that one has a long, that one has a long burn to it. Of course, after eating this one and this one, we're totally gonna kill our taste buds for anything that's in here. Why are we doing two at once? <laughs> ah, man, is your tongue burning? Like, on fire? Because mine is, like. Not as worse as that chip. That chip, man. Like, I feel like my I feel like it's burning hotter than it should be on my tongue. Yeah, no, this is gonna suck. Well, go ahead, here, all this. I'll read this. Triple X. Triple so, X. now with three times the X, everyone's favorite pepper farmer, Smokin' Ed Curry, outdid himself with the last dab trickle, triple X, which features three distinct strains of his world famous creation, Pepper X. Chocolate Pepper X. So Pepper X, Chocolate Pepper X, and Peach Pepper X. The final and hottest sauce in the Hot Ones lineup. The last dab, Triple X, reminds us of a heavy metal performance with a slow, steady bass line of intense spices making way for an explosive crash of heat. Yay! That, that hits the palate and stomach from all angles. Add a dab to your favorite foods and live the Hot Ones tradition. Just beware the pyrotechnics cause a burn that won't go away anytime soon. So again, holy jeez, small print. Ingredients, pepper X, chocolate pepper X, peach pepper X, uh, distilled vinegar. Wait, that's before vinegar? Yeah, just like this is gonna be, well, I guess it's not, it's not super thick. Ski, ski, ski. Um, it's not, I don't, the other one's I still don't, burning my tongue. I don't, mine's actually starting to subside right now. Um, I don't think this is as quite as thick as the other um, last dabs. Uh, but after the three peppers, we've got vinegar, ginger, root. Oh, that's Man, good. Man, this is not... so small. Turmeric, coriander, cumin, cumin and dry, dry mustard. mustard. That is the smallest print I've ever seen. I have a hard time reading that. Um, 
So let us see. Let us see. Oh, wow. That smells hot. Mm. <laughs> you can kind of smell like the cumin and the turmeric. I mean, obviously that's what's giving it this color. Mainly the turmeric, but some of the cumin too. It definitely smells really hot. This is gonna suck. And my tongue is still on fire. Burning a little bit from the last one. But, you know, it's tradition around here to put a little extra. <laughs> we good. A <laughs> couple drops is all she needed. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Nothing. You trying to put some a little extra on my last dab? Boop, boop. I mean, that's tradition around here, so. We'll do it. It hurts. It burns. Go. Got some on there. See how it goes. <clears throat> Yeah, <clears throat> I think I got like four seeds on my spoon, which I'm trying to chew up. It's a bad idea. Don't do it. Um, it just tastes like fire on your mouth. It doesn't taste as good as the fire fire, really. No, um, fire this fire one was the really, spiciest. Really smoky, really good. Best flavor this with one heat ratio. Tastes more oddly tastes more vinegary. Maybe it's because there's so much just like pepper in there. Oh there, the spice. You I don't know. Maybe you just don't you're not getting so much of the other stuff. It's, it's building a little bit right now. <clears throat> Yeah, it is. You think that was hotter than the last one? But that one has such good flavor with the spice. Yeah. That one's probably the best spice to heat ratio ever. That one's really good. It's, it's, it's still building a little bit, but I almost think that maybe the build is slower on this one. Because to me, this one seemed more intense, but maybe that's just because it built up a little bit quicker and this one's a bit more or maybe the line like the bomb. It's a lie. Conspiracy theory. <laughs> the bomb is a fucking lie. That maybe. is not 600 compared to 1.2 or 2 on the last app. Mm -mm. Lies. Yeah. Lies. Okay, so that is the October box. So if you are a subscriber and you got the box in October, this is what you got. Um... So very interesting. Now, we're gonna try to let our mouths cool off a little bit so we can get into the November box November and hopefully box. be able to taste them and experience them the way they were meant to be, but I doubt it. our mouths are on fire right now. Dun, 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 Boop, November box. So, what? Sticker, do we have here? Ooh, Sarsaholic. Sarsaholic. And of course, the hedonist. All right, so what we've got here is um, okay, so this one is a season sauce. This is Akamiso. I have Dawson's hot sauce for Mimi. So that one is uh, not a season sauce. Um, but I think Dawson's might be a brand that they've used in the past. Uh, this one we do recognize, uh, from last yeah. season, Shaquanda's, uh, but this is MX Green Sass. So a different sauce, um, but from a maker that we know. So Shaquanda's is up first. Shaquanda's pepper sauce, MX Green Sass. Shaquanda's second sauce brings slightly less heat than the original, but all the sass. A tangy jalapeno blend with lots of lemon and lime. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Is light, bright, pairs perfectly with seafood or grilled poultry. Bananas give it a bit of body. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Is your shirt bananas? No, Gwen Stefani is. Apparently, that's like 10 years old now. No, I know. 
Okay, proceed. This song said, this shit is bananas. But like at the time when it came out, like my kids would hear the song and they would, we told them that it was, she was saying her shirt is bananas. So they were singing along with it, but not saying this, the bad word. They were saying, my shirt is bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. And they're gonna learn it and they're gonna be like, my whole life is a lie. <laughs> uh, bananas give it a bit of body while imparting just a kiss of sweetness to balance out the acid. The addition of mustard and Spanish oregano makes the sauce multidimensional Ooh. enough to use as a marinade or eat on its own with tortilla chips. Dig in. My tongue is still on fire. All right, so the ingredient list. Mm -hmm. Onions, distilled white vinegar, serrano pepper, jalapeno pepper, lime juice, B-A-N-A-N-A-S, lemon juice, sea salt, sugar, mustard powder. I've never heard called mustard powder. Cilantro, oregano. Sounds really complex. <clears throat> There's a lot going on in there. <sighs> Skeet, skeet. How's it taste? Or smell I mean. Mm, like green sauce, though. Like verde sauce. It smells like yeah. verde. Like something that's made with tomatillos. 100%. I don't like tomatillos. Oh, I love tomatillos. Taco Bell used to make tomatillo sauce. It was amazing. They don't, they don't have it anymore. Unless you order pico. How do I know that? My tongue is still on fire from the last time. <clears throat> On a burrito. Mm. That tastes legit like Taco Bell's tomatillo sauce. It tastes like tomatillo sauce. This tastes like tomatillo sauce. Like, I'm not really getting any banana. I was expecting a more banana forward flavor. But I wonder if it's the banana mixing with somebody else, like something else. Could be. I like it. It's, it's, is it, uh, so you remember uh, Hippie Dippy Green? Uh huh. Is it better than that one? Cause that one was a very green tomatillo kind of, I think this one's better than that one. I like this one a lot. But if you don't want a lot of heat. It's yeah. Great. This one's really good. And, and for me, I don't like tomatillo sauces. I generally don't like green sauces, but this one was actually pretty good. All right, so. Dawson's Hot Sauce, Cremini Habanero. Sealed and wax, Our, by the way. Sealed and wax? Really? Well, yeah, I tried to like pull off the label beforehand and I was yeah. like, oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> it is wax. Our wacky Canuck brethren from Dawson's are <laughs> back <laughs> with a super <laughs> savory sauce made from habanero and cremini mushrooms. Blending high quality olive oil with the peppers results in Dawson's signature rich texture, which lends itself perfectly to the earthiness of the mushrooms. Try this as a spread for sandwiches, add it to fall soups, or use it to up the umani factor of veggie forward dishes. What's umani? I don't know. That's I've the heard sixth of it. sense. What? You don't I, I don't know. It's a perfect flavor combination of everything. Did you shake it? I'm like I'd break it. it smells the same, doesn't it? Just it just smells kind of earthy. Hmm. It doesn't smell hot. It doesn't smell... Like anything almost. Saucy. Like it doesn't have much of a scent, really. It does kind of have that earthy, mushroomy kind of scent, but it's not strong. Ooh, whoa. Skeet, skeet. On the spoon, it opens up a little bit more scent-wise. There's something else going on there that I can't oh, quite Oh, we didn't see the ingredient list yet. All right, ingredients, cremini mushroom, so that's the first ingredient, habanero, balsamic vinegar, onion, white vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, sea salt, spices. So it's the balsamic in the EVOO. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
weird. Right? <laughs> you just taste mushrooms. Mm -hmm. But it's not bad. It's very good. Onion or different mushroom wine. first, then balsamic vinegar. That's like as soon as the mushroom taste went away, I tasted the balsamic, balsamic vinegar. Um, really, it well, okay. So the spice is now building. I didn't taste any spice at all until after I swallowed it, and now the spice uh, from the peppers is starting to build because I didn't really think it was that mm. hot to begin with. I mean, it's not super hot at all, but. After I, the, after I swallowed it, then the heat level started to raise up a little bit. But that one's the most different out of all the sauces I think we've ever tasted. That one's just weird. Like, that's not, like... Normal? Yeah, like, <laughs> well, right. Like, that one would be weird to have on a wing. Like, I can see that being added to dishes. Well, to almost add like flavor. stroganoff. Because it already yeah. has mushrooms with it, yeah. To add flavor to a yes. dish, but okay. like, I don't I don't see that being like the main ingredient yeah. in anything. Like supporting or adding some flavor to something. But yeah. just, I can't imagine having that on just a wing by itself. That'd be kind of weird. I mean, I'm sure it'd be good, but just a little bit weird. Yeah, we gotta try it. Prove it. Okay, bravado. Akamiso clocking in at number seven in the current lineup. Akamiso blends ghost pepper with a touch of Carolina Reaper for a lingering burn and maximum flavor. The true star of the Aka or red miso, which is fermented longer than other varieties, has a funky flavor. I don't know if that's a good thing. That like makes booze. this sauce Why sing in ramen as a marinade for short ribs or in a flaming hot noodle bowl. Oh, I bet you that would be so good added to ramen. Okay, so the ingredient list is ghost pepper, Carolina Reaper, rice wine vinegar, aka miso. It says AKA, I don't understand. Aka. Tamari. Yeah, tamari is a... Sesame we've, oil? We've seen that in one of the other sauces. Why did I get the one that was most difficult? <laughs> Tagaashi? Sure. And salt. There's I'll some sleep. serious oil floating on top of that. That's got me mixed up. I know, I tried to. I think this, so if I remember right, from watching the seasons, when they get to Akamiso, this is where Sean says, this is the turning point. Motherfucker. So this is like, the this is in the new shit. lineup, number seven, this is like where the heat cranks up. So this is number seven, which means this is right behind Da Bomb. Damn. I hate, I hate Da Bomb. Right, right behind it. Did you smell Made me so sad. Hmm. Okay, it definitely smells Asian. It smells hot. Mm. Like those two ingredients that you couldn't pronounce, like those are Asian spices. <laughs> no, I know that. Like, but that's that's what I smell. Like definitely, like you I know, smell Tamagotchi. that. And you're like, oh yeah, like that would go well in a noodle bowl, or put it a little bit on your uh, ramen. <laughs> this is a little bit thinner than uh, the other ones. Oh, fuck. This is gonna suck. Mmm, it's so good, though. It's so sour at first. That one's good. Really good. Really, like, like we said, Asian. Like, totally, like, you would find that in an Asian restaurant, like, on the table to pour on your other stuff. Now I kept it on my tongue for a while, trying to like taste this, the season. It seems like I'm, what I'm tasting isn't in there, but I think it might actually be. I'm tasting sesame, like sesame no, oil. No, sesame oil is in there. Oh, it was. Uh -huh, it's I, like okay, I missed that. to the last. Okay, I missed that. That's what I taste uh, uh, is a lot of sesame oil. Okay, so there it is, yep. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder if that was what part of the tamari or the other thing. Yeah, I totally, oh totally taste the sesame oil, which is obviously giving it that Asian flair. Um, it is when, spicy though. So I kept it on my tongue for a while. I was trying to taste what was in there. And then all of a sudden it got super salty. Did it taste salty to you? Yeah, like MSG. So like, uh, so like <laughs> initially I was just getting the spices and then once I kind of sat on there, then all of a sudden it got really, really salty and then I swallowed it. And then the heat started to build a little bit more. And it's, it's actually still building yep. right now. It's not getting like super hot, like not like the other ones, like the Faya Faya was definitely way hotter than this one. Um, but that's got a good kick to it, a good spice. That would be like super that. good on ramen or any or anything like that. Really, really good. Yep. I like that one a lot. I think I actually like this one. Like, I like this one. Like we said, this one was really good, like smoky. Like I like this one better. Well, I like that on like Chinese Japanese food. I don't want that on barbecue though. Yeah, I can see that. So preference of cuisine, yes. But on a wing, which one would you want? <clears throat> Not both. <laughs> but if you had to pick right now, one or the other, or any of these, like which one is your favorite? No, right now on any wing, a wing or a tacos. On Sorry, a on a wing, on a wing. On tacos. I'm just talking about on a wing. Like, what would your preference be right now? Hewen. Mm, That's what I thought. Me, 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 me. Like it would just be like this on a one taco. Would... This guy. Oh, that'd be so good on a taco. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so good. That that bottle would last you like three tacos. I said two. What, are you going to put half of this bottle on one taco? That's a lot. Well, taco sittings. Sittings. I, I meant tacos. Like, I, I was saying three tacos. You're thinking I'm going to use a third of this bottle on one taco? Yeah. No. <laughs> Your estimation skills are wrong. <laughs> I ate six tacos in one sitting, motherfucker. But you love tacos. Holy shit. <laughs> favorite all righty so we have gone through the october box and the november box and today is the 5th of december so in about a week to 10 days <laughs> they will probably be sending out the next box for december which i'm very excited about because the next box is new versions of the Hot Ones sauces. So you got the dun, classic dun, dun. Los Calientes and the Last Dab, but brand new versions of all three of those. Okay, but question. Mm. Los Calientes. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Why remake it when it's amazing? I don't know. I just want more Los Calientes. Hopefully it's made better. How can it be made better? It's amazing. <laughs> I want... It can be amazing her. Not... I don't know. If it's not broken, don't fix it. So uh, I know this. The classic is made hotter. The, no, that sounds the, amazing. The classic was the number one sauce in the lineup of one to ten. It was the mildest sauce. But for this version, they're adding... Um, Hot, hot, hot. So they're taking, I don't know how hot they're making it, but it's definitely going to be hotter than the classic, which in my opinion is good. Uh, the Los Calientes was a red version. So instead of using um, green. It's red, it's green. It's no, like yellow, it, Los Calientes. But the new version. Oh, it's red. It's red. So instead of using, I think it was green Serrano's, they're using the red Serranos to make it, and also adding, uh, I think, either ghost pepper or um, the um, Reapers. I don't remember. They're adding- So usually the, the green from the red, green is more mild or picked sooner from the crop yes. compared to the red. Right, so they're oh. using a different 
variety of the same pepper to change the color of it, change the flavor of it a little bit, but also adding another hotter pepper. So it's gonna be a little bit spicier. Now, in contrast to that, the last dab is going to be a, what was it, a chili arbol? I think, I could be wrong, uh, but that is a milder version. I'm sure it's still going to have the reapers and whatnot in it, but it's a milder version. And it, it did say it is going to be like the tamest last dab ever that they've ever made so probably tamer than double bomb. bomb could be sucks sucks so bad you love it said no one ever <laughs> no true everybody hates that sauce it is the worst they say 600 thousand scoville give or take 50. the worst it's pretty bad the worst it tastes really good for like and, good then, ever. and then it gets hot. You yes. said it did when we first did our tasting, and you did it off the until spoon. I knew what was gonna happen. For the first few seconds, you get that really rich, smoky, hot pepper flavor, and then and you just then, get hot fucking and pepper, it, and then it just goes from there. So that's our video for today. We did October, we did our November, and we did the preview for what's upcoming for December. So we'll be looking forward to that. When the sauces come in, like I said, in about a week to 10 days, hopefully. Uh, so we will get to that video as soon as we can. And that's it for this time. Bye-bye. See you guys later. See you guys on the forums. Check us out on The Shaving Cadre. Check me out on The Shaving Cadre if you are interested in that sort of thing. Or just subscribe to this channel if you want to see more hot food hot sauces, hot wing challenges, and other things. So we'll see you guys later. I'm KJ, this is Amber, and we'll see you later.